it's day and welcome back to my five below product reviews. Um, so it has been a little while. So this one I did a little while ago. So um, you will see some Christmas lights. <laughs> so I did have my Christmas lights out. Um, so today's we're going to look at is going to be the five below fountain pens. So I pulled out my Copic pens. If you'll remember my one that came with my Arts Next broke. So I got these two. Um, it's a sepia one and a black one to just have something to compare because they have that fountain um, nib to compare this to fountain pens we're getting from Five Below. So I got them back when the other ones broke and I saved them for this video so I wouldn't be like doodling with them and have any uh, preformed bias. So here's our Five Below ones. There's two pens, as you can see. A gold one and a black one. And that's just the color of the outside. It's nothing to do with the ink. The ink is black and it was three bucks. So I think the Copics, because I'm going back in history in my brain, I think the Copics were about $4 each, four or $5 each. And they were not like, I ordered them through Amazon, but they were not prime. So they did not come fast. Um, and look at that. Isn't that great? Yeah, I spent way too long. I sped this up a little bit because I spent way too long playing with the packaging. It's so hollow. I love it. All right. You can tell when things speed up because I notice my Christmas lights like flicker uncontrollably. Um, so anyway, there is some instructions on the back on how to put the pens together. So I thought that was interesting because I haven't used fountain pens probably since I was like a preteen. And I had like that kit that came with all the different color ink cartridges. So this looked um, similar to that, but uh, not not like the old school ones that I remember. These ones had like clear barrels. Um, one thing you'll definitely notice it's different is they feel super light compared to the Copic ones. Just very light because um, the plastic barrel is just really thin. I don't know if that matters to anybody. Um, the caps have those like clips that look, I don't know, they look like a U. I see them on more expensive pens that I do not own. So I thought that was kind of a neat uh, copycat four or five below to do is to try to make them look similar. You'll also notice that they have a tiny little uh, window into the barrel chamber where you could, I suppose you could see the ink level. We'll see if that's true. Um, so the first one I put together was the black one. One is fine and extra fine. Um, and then I put the gold one. The gold one is the fine, I believe. I hold them up and now I already forget. Um, so you untwist the cap and then you tap it for the ink to come out and it flies away. And there's a little piece of paper in there. The instructions say like to remove that piece of paper. I don't know what it was there for. Maybe it was holding the ink in place. So the tiny little ink barrel has a like ball bearing in the very top. And you can see there's like a post in there. So when you put the ink barrel into the top of the pen, you would hear like a click or you'll feel a pop and they're connected. And it's hard to tell. And that's why I sped through putting the first one together because it was kind of like just trying to figure it out and I didn't want to be too confusing. Um, then once you twist it into the rest of the handle of the barrel, um, you'll know you'll feel everything come together. The lids clip on, which is a little confusing. I don't know why to my hands because when I pull them, if they don't immediately pop off, I start to want to twist. But if you twist, you'll t twist the whole top of the pen off. So I, don't know. I think it just goes with it being so light and it feels it feels very cheap, the five below ones. Um, so and now we're swatching. So I this is the first time I'm using these Copic, uh, Copic Copic. How do people say it? I don't know. I, just, I don't know what I say. I probably say it different. Uh, it was the first time I'm using them both was not super impressed um, at first. So I was trying to just like reserve that like opinion and see how everything looked. Um, oh yeah, so the gold one is the fine. Black is extra fine. Am I just watching it now, voicing over? So I did them over top of some color. A lot of times the way I do my line art is I do color first and then I come back with the line. So you can see the five below definitely bleed more into the alcohol ink. So you can see it just starts to get a little darker. So it's like, all right, well, that makes sense because Copics are made for that. And then I swiped over them with color, which is more the traditional way that you would ink something is you would do your lines first and then you would come in and color. Uh, five below bled more. So I don't think there was a, a giant difference if you had to use a five below pen in this case. Like you, I don't see, there wasn't major smearing. 
But so far, um, the my opinion so far of the five below pens is that they definitely are more inky. Uh, they were more fluid. I felt like the Copics were skipping a little. So I do wonder when you order things like that off of Amazon and they're coming from Japan. I think these are uh, coming from Japan. When they're coming from really far away, um, and not to say they're not made in those places, but to say there's a lot of fakes made in those places. So whether you're ordering something that's made in Japan originally, are you getting a fake one? And then it just looks really close to it. So I have no idea how to tell if these are the real deal. So I don't know. So maybe that's why I wasn't really impressed with them. I'm not sure what I'd use the sepia one for because it was super light. So I would think that whatever I was painting or doing would also have to be a pretty light thing. And right now I'm using the alcohol markers a lot and the set of alcohol markers I have are not pastel or light. Um, so here we go with my gold. Um, I really like the way this one feels. So I decided to use this one for the outline. So if you haven't <laughs> been able to tell so far, I had planned to post this video in January. Um, as like my happy new year video and the tentacles are uh, in the shape of like 2020. So that was my intent in, and then life and life happened and there was just too much going on after the holidays and I did not get this up in time. So happy new year and happy February. <laughs> Although now I need to do something for February. Um, so anyway, I really like the feel of the five below pen. The ink was super smooth. It didn't skip. Uh, it's, uh, I was using the Bristol paper. I didn't find it very bleedy. Um, it's inky though. It's like a even though one is extra fine and one is fine. The reason why I'm, I kept I, I keep like forgetting which is which is they're very similar. There's not really a lot of difference in that. So here the black is the extra fine. So I'm coming in and doing a little bit of detail with that. But you can see there's really I mean it looks like I'm pressing a little lighter. I don't know. There's not that big of a difference in their nibs. So it feels kind of equal to me, at least for my purposes. Maybe if you were doing something with more tiny detail, you would notice the nuance. So now it's time to erase all that and pick up my colors. I really do like this marker set. Um, it is dark though. So on my wish list of things is really wanting something more pastel. Um, so I don't know if you guys heard, but the color of the year is blue. I forget like the Pantone number or which particular color, but it was a very like normal blue, like a very basic primary like color blue, kind of like my Christmas bulb there. So I wanted to do the 2020 with uh, blues and I don't really have, um, a, like I said, like a range of light colors. So I'm using two darkish colors that I'm just going to try to build and make some shadow and some difference with. So this color is just a really pretty blue. I do like this one. It's it's not a true blue. It's almost, um, what would you consider this? It's not like teal, but it's not like a dark blue. Um, so I like this blue, and then I'm going to go in with this one was, it's not even that it's darker. Um, I think the shade is just a, has like a little bit, just a like a different kind of, tone to it. So um, I thought that looked really good as a shadow on this particular blue. And so I'm just kind of blending that out so it looks, just has a little bit more dimension. Um, if these markers are kind of buildable, but I think because they're not light, it's hard to decide if they're buildable. So I definitely need to put on my list to invest in some markers in the future, but these things are so expensive. And this is a cheap set. And it was a hundred bucks or something like that for this set. So, and that was, you know, I bought that when I had like a gift card or like, you know, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get something special. So not, not something I'm buying every day. So here I go messing up my drawing. Uh, okay. I didn't mess it up, but uh, I wanted to like try to do like fireworks because it's 2020 and New Year's, you know. So I didn't really know how to pull that off. Like, I didn't want to draw them. I wanted them to be like a splatter. So in my head, I probably would have done well with paint, but I wasn't using paint. So then I noticed, like, when I do that, I'm go almost going off the page. So um, there was uh, someone who asked me about framing this one or selling this one, and I'm like, ah, it's, like, almost so off the page that – it's like not even worth it. So I don't know if you're interested in buying it, let me know. Maybe I'll try to make a digital print. <laughs> so going in with my pen and doing the little dots. Um, again, 
really juicy pen, um, nice little detail. Uh, I really enjoyed using it. I didn't feel like those dots bled out a lot, so that was nice. Um, I came in here, then I went the jelly roll. I forget what size this is. I think this may be the eight. <laughs> um, to do my highlights. This uh, jelly was definitely, I think, one of the ones from the Arts Next box. It gave you three sizes. Um, to do my highlights, and that is that. Ugh, I talked through that whole thing. I felt like I talked so fast. Well, Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you for watching. And now in 2020, uh, hopefully I'll be posting a little more and I won't be MIA for like a whole month again. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Bye.